My name is Josh Bois from 2030 Ventures, and today I'm going to show you how to change your Google Voice number. Why would you want to change your Google Voice number? Maybe you were getting telemarketing calls for some reason, or you needed to get away from someone that was coming after you. There's a plethora of reasons, and today I'm just here to show you how you can change it. So first, we're going to navigate to google.com slash voice. So the one thing about changing your voice, again, is that it does cost $10 every time you switch it after the first time. So if you have multiple Google accounts, you can always create a separate Google voice number for each one of them, probably the easiest way. But if you really just want to switch from what you had to what you want now, um, then you can change it. So now that you're logged in, you can go to the gear icon and then settings. Here now you're going to click change port. So one of the unfortunate things though about picking a new number is you might not be able to get an, uh, a new phone number within the zip code or the area code that you really want. So when you click I want a new number, it will give you options. Again, it's going to tell you about the $10 one-time charge. The new number will become active right away. And um, the old number will be disabled within three months. So you might want to keep that in mind when you're making your decision. So, for example, when we searched for 310, you know, LA numbers, there's no numbers. You know, you might have grabbed one of those at the very beginning. No 949 for Orange County. Oh, now it's available. It wasn't earlier. Um, but it's going to charge you 10 bucks. So maybe it's not available for free. But if you really want a premium number, you can get it if you're willing to pay the premium.